It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog. It's a can of Neon Overload Chili Mango IPA coming in at 7.3% ABV. I emphasise on the 0.3% because they, this is, a, as I mentioned, a Chili Mango IPA. They've just brought out the Chili Hammer, which is 7.2% ABV. And I, I'm not sure... Of course, the mango, this has been infused, it has mango and coriander added to the beer, the, the beer, coriander seed. So, real fruit added to the beer. And I'm really interested, I really like this, this chili hammer, by the way, it's really worth getting into. But 0.1%, that's 7.2, the chili hammer, this chili mango IPA is 7.3, so slightly stronger. Slightly more, oh, it's, it's got coriander mango in. I, I, I'm interested to see the difference, how, how different this beer is. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. I'm gonna hold up the two glasses of beer just to see the difference in color. Actually, this looks like it's produced, it is a, it is a very different beer, I think. Uh, this has created a really nice, frothy, three-finger white head. Lovely carbonation. Look at that. Lovely carbonation there. It's a very, very clear beer. Let me show you what the chili hammer looked like. So, yeah, it does look like a very different beer. And, of course, I mean, you're allowed to go, when you're brewing a beer, you're allowed to go, I think, 0.2% over or under what you state on the can or the bottle. So what I was wondering is, have they produced this chili hammer, but have they, have they added mango and coriander? But no, definitely not, unless they've kind of filtered this one out to make it look different as well. Um, we'll suss it out, but this one, as I mentioned, has got mango and coriander in. So uh, very clear glass of beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it smells, it smells like a completely different beast. Shed loads of mango and coriander coming through. And it smells a little less hoppy than the chili hammer. It smells more of a malty beast, if I'm honest. Let's dive in. Cheers. Oh, oh wow, wow, okay, the intensity on the chilli seems to be quite a bit more than the, the chilli hammer, the chilli hammer was very nice, kind of balanced, this is more of a, uh, they called it Neon Overlord, I, I, it's a big malty brew. It's, it's a big, malty, sweet, biscuity brew, but with a lot of chilli on the back end. It's really, really burning the back of my palate. I was wondering what that, I was kind of picking up sweetness. And being a beer reviewer, when you review so many beers, you, you generally, when you pick up sweetness, you, you kind of think of malt, but in this case, it's not the malt. This is the mango that's giving it some, a little bit of sweetness in there to that flavor. It's trying to, to tame the chili in the beer. The mango is trying to just calm it down and say, whoa, 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 calm down a little bit. But it's, it, it really is, isn't calming this chili down. This is a bit of a rager. This is, this is what, I, um, in terms of craziness, if you like, Brewdog had a bit of a crazy brewery, and I admire them for that. If if this was a big double IPA, one of their crazy double IPAs, 
it would be a hundred IBU one. It would be full on bitterness, crazy bitterness. This is the, the hundred IBU equivalent of a chili beer. That kind of rating scale. This would be probably one of the most kind of burning chili beers that I have ever tasted on the channel. I mentioned in the previous review of Chili Hammer, you may want to go and watch that after this if you want, but I mentioned the fact that I have had a chili beer from Allendale Brewery and that was really quite fiery and we had one from Ballast Point, the Habanero IPA. Ballast Point Habanero Sculpin, that was it, Sculpin IPA. And it was too much, it was too much. I was eating a meal at the time, way too spicy. It nearly ruined my meal. And mm, I suppose what I'm trying to say here is that I wouldn't want to pair this with a meal. It would be too much. If I was eating a curry, and I wanted to chill my mouth down a bit with a, with a, with a beer, this wouldn't be the beer because it would just, it wouldn't chill your mouth down. You'd be drinking chili as well as eating chili. So as well as that, the, it, it, it didn't go well with, with the burger. And I don't think this would go well with the burger either because it's just way too spicy. Saying that, if you're not a foodie at all, if you're not interested in food, um, I'm not really that much interested in food. If you're just a drinker, if you just want to go to a bar and have a drink, then this would be something that you could buy for a friend and say, hey, try that for a beer. And, and you know, if he's kind of new, a little bit wet behind the ears with, with craft beer or, or you know, you could, you could um, invite him to the world of beer, if you like, with some pale ales, IPAs, and then a chilli beer, just to kind of completely ruin his palate. Um, and maybe, maybe ruin his old beer experience forever. <laughs> Um, to be honest with you, I, I, I'm doing this because I've just reviewed the Chili Hammer and, and I much, I've got to be honest, I much prefer this, I think it's a much better beer. Um, the reason being is that it's much more hopped up, it is a much, I'm going to get the beer now, and just the, I very rarely kind of grab two beers and compare them, but it, it's good to compare them I suppose. It's so much more pungent in the aroma. It, this is the Neon Overload. Yeah, this just smells mangoey and malty and, and a little bit spicy with a bit of coriander. I'm tasting it. It really is quite malty for one of Brewdog's IBAs. This, on the other hand, bang straight away. Lots of American hops. Very different beast. Much prefer this. The hops in the beer offset that chili burn. It it you you know it. If you've had regular jackhammer, you know it's jackhammer with that wonderful burst of hops, but with chili on the back end. This, on the other hand, uh The thing about Overlord's resinous bitter finish, but I, I'm, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm just getting a biscuity malt. Do you know what a beer flat lines? Do you know if if you're a, a real big beer enthusiast? Do you know what a beer? What I mean by flat line in, in, a, in a beer is you get that malty biscuitiness and then nothing else. It just, it just flat lines, it just, it goes up, you have the, the sweet malty biscuity flavour, then it just does this. And you're waiting, you're waiting, because it's, it's mentioned resinous IPA on the back of the can, you're waiting for that burst of hops on the back end. You don't get that burst of hops on the back end, you get a burst of chilli. I'm not standing here saying it's a bad beer. I think if I reviewed it first before the jackhammer I may have been a little bit more complimentary to it although yes I get a little bit of the aroma from the mango it 
you get the mango and the sweetness, you get the malt, and then you get this big burn on the back end. So, it, it's not an undrinkable beer, but it's not a drink, a beer that I would choose to buy again. And it's unusual for me to say that. If I was in Brewdog's bar with the, with the vast majority of beers they've got on their shelves, um, I'm not sure I'd buy that again. And that's just me being honest. If, if you're a massive fan of chili beers, and you love that crazy burn that I'm getting now on the back of the palate, then great, go and buy it. But on the other hand, if you're not a fan of just multi beers, that have got a bit of mango in and some coriander and lots of chili spice on the back end, if you're not a fan of that, steer clear of this beer. And um, I've got quite a good relationship with Brudo. Brudo Cardiff, my, my, my local bar. So if they're watching, I, I, I sincerely apologise that I'm not a great fan of this beer. Um, but we are honest here on the channel. When we come across something we're not really overly fond of, I'm not going to stand here and start waving my arms and stoning the crows about a, a beer I'm not, I'm not fond of. Or a beer which I think is lacking. Um, I just don't get any hop character. I, I'm just... Uh, unless... It's hiding behind the chili, but it can be because Jack Chili Hammer does it very, very well. Um, I think Neon Overload is just a victim of just how good Chili Hammer is. And maybe in the next brew, if they brew this again, maybe they just want to kind of get it very much like Chili Hammer and just throw that in the can and. and and go with that because I, I just don't think this works okay rating rating um i'm gonna give this a five out of ten it's a five out of ten from real Ale craft beer again apologies to my local brudo cardiff i'm not a massive fan of this um please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers